Hi everyone, hope you're all well. It's great to finally be able to play some sort of cricket now that the lockdown is being eased and even if it's net sessions to start off with, hopefully that gets us into a groove and we can start playing some matches in the not too distant future. I just wanted to do this quick video on grading of cricket bats. Uh, a lot of customers have asked us in regards to this and why some companies have so many different models and how they grade their bats differently. With grading, what we have found is that there are essentially five different grades of English Willow. Now, even within those grades, they can be categorized into three different levels. So you may have a top end grade one, which would be your very sort of very top end bats with the best grains, the best performance. Then you'll have a mid range, then a lower end grade one. Then same with grade two, three, four and five. So you might ask, why are there different levels within the same grade? Shouldn't they all be performing the same? So if it's a grade two, should a grade two not perform like any other grade two? Well, the most important thing within a bat making process and what a lot of people aren't maybe aware of is the pressing stage of the cliff. So when you press a cliff, what you're doing is this is before the bat is shaped into the final profile. When you're pressing a cleft, you're increasing durability and sustainability of the cleft itself and hence the performance. In an ideal world, each cleft would be pressed individually according to the pressure that that individual cleft requires. But with demand so high and a lot of bats being mass produced now, especially with the advent of uh, the likes of the IPL and Big Bash League and 2020 cricket generally, that's meant that there's been huge surge in demand for cricket bats, especially when it comes to the mid to lower end grades, where you just need a cricket bat for a shorter form of the game, and you may not want to spend as much as the top end grades. So what the mass production does is that essentially bats are being mass pressed as well under the same weight. So they are not being individually pressed as such according to the individual nature of the cleft. They might just have one weight. A lot of them are machine pressed now. So they would just go under the same weight uh, back and forth and that would be that. Hence the mass pressing of bats makes it important for us to hand pick our bats. Because when we go into the various factories to hand pick bats, what we do is we will have about 40 or 50 bats to choose from, from the same model and same size and the same grade. So what that means is that from those 40 or 50 bats, because the majority of them may have been mass pressed. And as you can imagine, if you're individually pressing each cleft and you're making six to 800 bats a week during the peak times, it can be very difficult and very time consuming to individually press bats to make sure that each cleft is done properly. Therefore, nowadays it's that much more important for retailers like ourselves to hand pick bats where we can actually go in, do a mallet test, check how much pressing has been done on individual clefts and then pick out the best ones. That's why looks wise, it may not always be 12, 13 grains in a perfect straight line that perform the best always. They might look the best, but they may not perform at the most optimum level because the pressing hasn't quite been right for the particular piece of cleft. Hence, when we hand pick bats, we don't just look at the looks and the grain structure, but we also look at how well they've been pressed simply through doing a mallet test on them. This gives us a really good indication of when someone comes in store and purchases the bat and it requires the pressing done and the preparation done to the bat. We know exactly where the bat would be in terms of the amount of preparation and the knocking in that it would need individually. I hope this gave you a good insight into how bats are graded and the process in which they are graded and then once they are on the shelves what we do to make sure you get the best bat possible so if you enjoyed this video please do like it share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel hope to see you guys again soon thank you